what happened in Vegas? Were, were you actually with Tupac when that happened? No. Okay. I had, I mean, um, Pac and I, I went to the, the Bo Holyfield fight with him and, and them dudes. But that fight, I wasn't at. Okay. Um, my daughter was just born and I was, you know, being daddy. Yeah. But um, I went out there the next day. I mean, basically, it happened that night. That next day, I went out there. Out there. Was Pac at all conscious at all when you got out there? Yeah, he was conscious. He um, he had tubes and shit all in his mouth, but his eyes was open. And he was looking at me, and um, me and my sister went in to see him, and um, he was he was trying to he was trying to tell me something. He was shaking the bed. He was. You know, all the bullets in him, he was still shaking a bit. And he wanted to tell me something, but he, he couldn't. And I was just trying to tell him to chill, just get better, we gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna handle it, but he didn't never get out the hospital. Yeah, I mean, I, I heard, I mean, everyone was crying during this time. I mean, I, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, me and, uh, Brother Watani, uh, Storm, female Storm, yeah. and 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 some others. We were guarding the, the the hospital out there because they had Pac on the first floor, and uh, <laughs> we could not figure out why the fuck they're gonna. He just it was a, just had an assassination attempt, and they're gonna put him on the first floor of the hospital, which made no sense. Um, yeah, I mean, and I wanted to speak on that because it's, you know, people out there doing projects and shit, talking about they was there and they watched Pac in his last seven days and they did this and then they, uh, it ain't all exactly true. Keep that in mind. Okay. But, um, so, so who was actually there when, when you were there? Uh, Brother Watani, Storm, me, uh, Yak. Yaki Gaddafi, rest in peace, oh. outlaw immortal. Was Shug um, there? I didn't see him. Okay. I mean, maybe he got there later, but not, not at know, the time. different yeah. day. Okay, um, and you guys actually were literally protecting him, like what, outside of his actual room and, and so forth? And we surrounded the, hosp surrounded the hospital. Wow. And then we took, you know, security points. So it was like a military operation almost. Yeah. Yep. Why, why do you feel in a, in a place like Las Vegas where there's millions of cameras and millions of witnesses and, you know, it, it, there's a huge fight and there's, you know, densely populated and someone was able to shoot up a car with, with two celebrities in it and no one knows what happened? No one gets arrested, <laughs> you know, no one gets charged. It's Las Vegas, and it's a lot of power. All those parties involved, that's a lot of power. And power corrupts, you know, not everybody, but power corrupts, uh, you know, and this. <laughs> Yo, there's a lot of corrupt shit going on, and the, the, the story is too thick and intricate and dark to, to, to unravel. Maybe someday, but <laughs> people will be amazed. Yeah. Did you hear about all the, all the Jimmy Henchman stuff that came out? not too long ago, about the guy who, I guess, shot Pac at Quad Studio and, you know, blamed it on Jimmy and everything else like that? No tut. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, this is, I mean, this wasn't new to me, but yeah. So you guys already knew all that stuff? Mm -hmm. This this was this was no surprise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, 
we were warrior kings. We warrior kings. So we dealing with major. We made it to a level where we were dealing with major shit on every level. From major shit in the street, major shit in business. <laughs> you know what I mean? We were top of the food chain. You know. Yeah. You look at a lot of artists out there who who are no longer around, but. When you travel around the world, when you go to Brazil, when you go to Africa, you, you still see these Tupac images. I, I almost feel like you see them as much as um, Bob Marley images. And when you look at those two people, the one thing they have in common is their the social message and their fight against how the world is and then them, them feeling like they, they can make the world better. You know, and this is, you know, when you always hear the Biggie Tupac argument, like who was the best, you know, if you look outside the music a little bit, I feel like the reason why Tupac usually gets picked was because of that. Not solely. I mean, I mean they both uh, had, had a lot of hit records, but, but, but Biggie never spoke uh, for the people, is what I'm saying. Okay, but check it. <laughs> I love Biggie because. I knew him. We we were um, we were down with each other. But yeah. Biggie's body of work does not compare to Pac's body of work. Period. Pac had no a matter much how much you love him, <clears throat> yeah. he he just didn't live long enough to 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 do as much as Pac. So uh, you know I you know uh, they like two. I see what you're Biggie's saying. Biggie's like little homie. That's yeah. how we see him. He was like the little homie coming up. Not only was Pac around longer, but Pac recorded like a maniac, from, from what I understand. Like, Pac was... <laughs> and he was a movie star? Hello? I yeah. Mean, and and <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. I, I heard a rumor. You, you, you could tell me whether this is true or not. I had heard that Tupac was actually cast for the role that Will Smith got in Independence Day? Um, I think he might have read or something for it. Yeah, there was some talk. Okay, but it wasn't, it wasn't signed on or anything uh, like that. It wasn't, it wasn't finalized. On. I FaceTimed him, FaceTimed me, you know what I'm saying? We talked it out. Hold a grill. I had a grudge. He had a grudge. You know what I'm saying we killed to put it in the middle of the flow. You know what I'm saying it's over with now. So we working. Bow wow. Do I have to go through this? I'm gonna plead the fifth. See, here's what happens. You have to understand. This is like player failure. Player failure is when you call out people and then other people get afraid you might call them out. 